And we're live. Actually, not live, but it's recorded. My mind doesn't <laughs> matter. But yeah, talking about the indigenous wisdom that we're being stripped of, supposedly. Yeah, an attempt. An attempt for a coup on our wisdom. It's, it's definitely an attack on indigenous wisdom. For that, I can say. I mean, it's blatantly in the web address to the article you sent me. Mm -hmm. So. And the article we're talking about is from, um, let me see if I can bring it up here. Um, yeah, you could like link it in the description too. Yeah. So right. people, can, so people can check it out. Yeah. Indigenous farming practices failing as climate change disrupts seasons. But then when you go on to the, the page, it's totally different. It's not like it's now climate change is killing thousands of years of indigenous wisdom. Um, it's a yeah. little different titles. They're like, it's, it's misleading a little bit. Yeah, they're, um, the, art of, the name of the article is, is suggesting that climate change is disrupting indigenous farming while the actual web address is you know going a little deeper and saying that climate change is killing off thousands of years of indigenous wisdom mm -hmm. like those things do go hand in hand as is you know reiterated in the article but that's definitely two different intentions i'm gonna turn on some more candles it's a late night with me tonight look one four three, I love you. Remember the beeper code? <laughs> one four three. That's the time right now. It's <laughs> one forty three a.m. I'm recording this, and it's uh, October fifteenth. Man, time is flying by so fast. Mm. Holy moly! Like I feel the rotation like speeding up, and I feel the wobble. You know, things. You know, people don't feel it, but I do. Uh, well, I mean, if you actually adhere to you know scientific definitions of how the planets and celestial bodies rotate we are kind of moving at a fast pace whether that's slowed down or sped up i couldn't tell you yeah, we, we, um but i think at any rate we're becoming more aware of it which is why it, it seems as though time is speeding up mm -hmm. It's just uh, it's coming. It's 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 <laughs> it's like they want you to think this one thing, and then it's totally something else going on. Cause I can feel, oh, yeah. I can feel like the misleading. Everything is being misled. And again, you know, like when you originally told me about the article and I hadn't even read it. You just basically told me the title of the article and I definitely told you like that sounds like it's kind of um, a way of making people feel inferior or not adequate in our natural means to kind of suggest and propose the introduction to a reliance on technology to assist us mm -hmm. which they go into the article towards the end mm -hmm. after they paint this big picture of how incompetent ancient millennia old ways of you know indigenous ways of naturally uh farming mm -hmm. is incompetent so you know this introduction of, you know, weather forecasting and things of that nature will assist these, you know, these cult, these, you know, tribes into farming better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very insidious. like, like for me, okay, like this is this goes even back, 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 back in the days, even. Be before Jesus and before all this religion stuff, 
um, because there was people here before him, and no one ever wants to talk about them. Who their who were their gods at the time? You know, who did they look up to? And that's why I question like this religion stuff like a lot, because it's like, all right, if you talk about this this Jesus thing and, and this person, this is all based on his story. Why do I have to believe just in his story? How about the people that were here before him? Like they have stories too. Like they he like proclaimed himself as this god and. Everyone has to follow. Oh, he never proclaimed himself as a god. He was very adamant that he was the son of God. Yeah, but like the way the people are, you know, about religion, they, they make it all about him. And like that's the one they look up to. And Yeah, they, because they're propagating a skewed story of his life and, and trying to portray that as, you know, and idealize that, but, which if you look into Jesus's words, he spoke against. So he went out for training, like when he left, you know, and he went on this journey to pick up, you know, the knowledge from others, like learning from others, mm-hmm. you know, like it just, it's, it's just it, it, for me, I'm like, we anyone here now could be a god. Which you know they could yeah. they you know they they kind of hint at him going out and seeking other knowledge or ancient knowledge or what have you changes depending on where you get the story from, but there's no account of it, so we have no idea what knowledge he came across. Like it could very well have been that he did inner journey. Mm-hmm you know, and got in touch with ancient wisdom that way, not necessarily sought out but we could do um, other teachings. We could, we could be doing the same thing now. Right. And, you know, that goes to say, you know, he, he did kind of reiterate, like, you know, follow my path, do but as I do kind of attitude, my- which in that would be seeking out your own knowledge and learning through Gnosis of yourself not it just blindly adhering to a doctrine just for the sake of it being considered holy or what have you hmm. so yeah, it's like i i always wonder what happened to the people that were before him and the people that were before his birth and before all that those people here i want to know the, what, what's up with them what they were doing no. <clears throat> well, I mean, if you're talking about, you know, text, you can go into life, life, life at the time, life, like, um, like he, the humans were here before him. Mm-hmm. You know, there were people here before him, so it's like, it's like, I can't can just follow that story. It. I just can't follow that. It's just a story, you know. It's a, it's a one man's journal, you know, and and, and passing knowledge down you know, from what he went through and try to inspire people to look up to him and, and like, but anybody could do that. Like these days, like we could be the gods because we're here now and we're here where he was. So it's like, okay, so we should be like thinking like gods ourselves, you know, and using your energy. And With focus. a small G. You know. I'll make that clarification. Huh? I said with a small G, I'll make that clarification. Not a not a capital G. No, not a capital, because it's like we're just we're like we're kinda like just we're here now. So it's like why can't we be the, the gods of today? You know? Uh, it doesn't it doesn't a little. Yeah, it's a little G. But like it's it's we're here. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm 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 too, I'm too open. Like the way my mind thinks and the way it's like, it's like okay, I like I kind of know the story, but like there's other things that happened before this dude, and I can just based like my life on a book, and like people do, like like sometimes religious to some people they're like they're so deep into it, like it's kind of like a cult. Like, for real, it's like a cult. And it's like these churches, they they have their 
their their group you know that they they like give so much to the church and stuff and they kind of like run the church i guess you know because the churches are non-taxable they're not taxable like they they don't pay taxes um and they get they get money oof oh like that dude that joel sting guy pissed me the fuck off during, yeah, I've uh, never been a fan of super dude, churches. Dude didn't even want to open his church in Houston. That used to be the old Houston Rockets basketball team stadium. And they oh, converted and it into a freaking church at Joe mm-hmm. Osteen's. Like, he bought it and he made it. And then he has his his clang, I call it. You know, it's a clang. It's like, they're like, I remember watching an interview of just him around that time period about him not opening up his church. Yeah. And he distinctly, I had to watch it a couple of times to make sure I heard what it was that I heard. And yes, he did actually call people sheeple in his own words. I see. Come on. And people have to follow this dude, like listen. No, they don't to have to. But they do, and they suck her yeah. into it. And, and, and the the troops just showed itself, like during that hurricane. That For dude. Those who have eyes to see. The people were standing outside, seeing if they could get in, and they wouldn't open the doors for them. They said because the church wasn't prepared for it or so forth, or they had too much gold out loose, so they had to put it away. You know, that's what they, that's what slowed it down, because they had to, they have valuable items, and they were going to let people in from Houston into their place, and they're worried about their stains on their carpet. You feel Mm -hmm. me? And that's fucked up. And they should have opened the doors before the storm got there. As an evacuation mm. territory, not after the storm, and then not letting the people in or not even helping them. And then finally, like, the TV started, like, picking up on it, and, and he was starting to get a little black bald a little. Like, they, people mm. started to turn a little bit on him. And then he was like, oh, church is open now, and everybody come on in, and we got everything, all this and that, and try to do, like, damage control and shit. I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't trust this dude. They showed his house. You guys go look it up. Check out Joe Olstein's house. And his and how much he makes. It's just well, it's not just him either. There cult. are others. That's a cult. I'm sorry. That's a cult. Mm-hmm. That that's that's something that like they, they he has his own little army. And it's just like t- telling him about the book, this book, and it's like one man's journey. That's like he's trying to say it's just one man's journey. There's been plenty of them before, you know. Well, they, I mean, I like I said, told you before, Rick. I mean, it doesn't matter what um, ancient text that you read. There's a and hint there's, of, there's, you know, just gods everywhere. Like and, even um, if you're a Buddhist god, you got, you know, there's Allah, truth in everything God, God, if, for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. Mm-hmm. So many religions, too. Like that's why. And I, I'm not saying I, that one I, is wrong and one isn't. Um, no, there's knowledge to be had in all of it. Yeah, is what I'm trying to say. And the thing is, like, there's so much religion out there, and all different places, all different days have religion it's like it's like the day people and they're just mm. they're just they're just like black card members like top top of the top the days <coughs> and it's kind of fucked up this Joel thing dude uh, it's, it, that's still like I'm still pissed about that um mm. Especially after they showed this house and showed like me. they they trying to they try to turn turn on him, but then they like they they actually backed off from it, you know. So because they could have really like gone after this dude, but money talks. 
and that's a clang. So it's I don't know. It's just weird. It's weird. It's weird. The guy's weird. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not super religion because I just started like after dying and coming back and stuff. I'm like, yeah, the light is there and everything, but it's not like, it's like you have your decision and when your life, you know, you feel it, you know, when it's time and people got to realize that, you know, cause you were born to die. Everyone dies and I don't know how to die. Mm -hmm. And that's scary, you know, and people don't talk about it. Yeah, you know, I I just finished having a conversation about that, about, you know, we all go through death here in this reality. Yeah, we all go through. At the same time, we are so, I wouldn't necessarily call it a denial, but in some, on some level it is a denial of not being open to have that conversation about death. Mm-hmm. That it's it's well, so definitely like, uh, like an elephant in the room that no one talk talks about. about. Um, Fuck that. I, I, me, I see death as a transition. I, have, in, I see. In the journey that your soul is going through, through the, in the cosmos. Yeah. Um, I, I, me, my, from my past, I've seen people die in front of me. Mm. <clears throat> that was part of my job. And yeah, it definitely brings um it front and center when you're faced with it. Like I saw my grandfather die too. Mm. It was like like that one pissed me off though. I have history with that that family and it's like I'm open minded. So I I like I read into their bullshit and and what type of people they are and stuff. And I have a, my story, my life story. That shit's a fucking book. Like, mm. Well, we are. I mean, it's <laughs> it's a living book. I'm the living Jesus. We are all living, living book. Jesus with a lyrical thesis. Haha. <laughs> yeah, biggie. Oh man. You know, we are actively writing our stories. Our stories here now and things that are going on and we're here as witnesses to these things that are happening. And it's happening pretty fast. You know? The energy is pretty strong. I'm I've been like I can't even sleep. That's how strong the energy is. Like I'm in I feel the pain, but I hear the signal. And it's a mm-hmm. little hum in my head, and I hear it. It's like, ee, but it's like real low, ee, like that. And it's mm-hmm. it's, a, it's an electronic sound. You know, it's like they are trying to communicate or they trying to tap in. You know, because that's a loud, that's a loud signal, and I'm hearing it pretty loud. I mean. I, I don't know exactly what you're hearing because um, it's a it's a low tone, but it's like a like a it's not it's kind of like a static television, somewhat. Yeah, I was about to get to that. Um, it very well could be white noise that they're producing to overshadow uh, the cosmic frequency that. Man, cause you can I, attune to. Like I, I, I hear the sound in my head, and like, it's just this. It's like it's like TV. Like it's it's like on. Remember back in the days, like Channel Three was like. Shh, mm, and then that's put, white noise. And then you put on the game system, and it stops, and it turns mm-hmm. into the Nintendo. Because I grew up in the Nintendo days. Yeah, I still have one. Uh, I have actually, I have the Wii. I don't have the old one. I don't ever. Yeah, I have a Super know, Nintendo. I don't even know what happened to that game system. To be honest with you, I don't even know what happened to it. Uh, because we we in my family, 
um, and this crazy because I'm getting memories back. Um, can they come in movies? <clears throat> I remember we used to get a game system like, like when my stepfather came into our lives. Then, you know, the game system, the game system started coming through, mm. and it was like a lot of game systems. And I played like Tomb Raider. I uh, love Tomb Raider. It's one uh, of my favorites. Yeah, I started playing it. Uh, it kind of freaked me out with the dinosaurs. So I didn't play it anymore. Cause yeah, I, that uh, was like the one Tomb Raider that I never finished. Yeah. I, I got I never, stuck in like this uh, arena with a T-Rex and couldn't get past it. See, my anxiety is so bad now. I can't play those games like that. It's mm. like... It's really bad, like my anxiety and yeah, I wouldn't suggest it because um, like the me, newer consoles have gotten a lot more realistic and that's there's certain games that I can't play and mm. um like I tried downloading I downloaded um Yahtzee, this game called Yahtzee. You guys know what it is. Yeah. Um I just you know did the old like the mobile app to mm-hmm. try it out. But then you play against other people. Right, and mm-hmm. I didn't feel comfortable playing other people because I tap into yeah. their energies, and like this is too much for me. That my my like I because their energy, I feel their energy. So yeah, it's like, I really I don't, don't like, like, I don't like playing multiplayer like games. Yeah, I rather play it against the computer, and I'm okay with that. But against I other mean, people, I just feel the energy, <laughs> and it's too much. I can't play the game. I I actually on on. I, how you call that? I just took it out of my phone. I just deleted it, uninstalled. It is my one qualm with like uh, my newer uh, my gaming PTSD consoles. Is, worse. is that there's like a lack of uh, local co-op games, like like you were saying with the Nintendo. Like I can turn on my Nintendo and put in two controllers mm-hmm. and play with someone right or that's sitting next cool. to me something right? cool listen i have a yeah. town that i play a game an app and it's a town it's like a little town i have my own town it's called um let's see let me get the it's called township it's an app a mobile app and i have my okay. own town if you want to join my town you can join my town it's 420 for life that's the name of my town <laughs> for real my town's name 420 for life and just download township and create your own town and by the time you reach level 19 then i could bring you into my group and i could hold up to 30 people right now i got like damn i don't know how many people i gotta check i got probably like seven people in my crew so i'm yeah. looking for another I don't want to get the number straight because I, if that number 22 comes out, that's the second time I've been mm-hmm. uh, like that number keeps coming out to me. It keeps coming to me. The closest I played to something like that was Sim, Sim City. Let me get my phone. Hold on, let me go get it. It's just fun in its own right. I put it on the charger, so. They want me to like, they want me to upgrade my phone because I have, I guess, like the jump plan. I could jump to uh, a phone, but then I found out that the fucking, sorry about the cursing, um, the note. 10 i think it is Mm -hmm. um it's like a thousand dollars like yeah i was like damn man technology and the they passing the buck passing the prices to the consumers yeah that's crazy it is and you know honestly i'd much rather get an older phone yeah but everything we're being tracked that's those phones are let me tell you something people don't understand this 
your phone is listening to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, doesn't turn off at all. Um, there's a lot of things the phone does. It steals your, your identity every day, especially the smartphones. <laughs> they see you all the time. Every, anything you do, everything you do, they see in it through your cameras. And your, the microphones, they hear everything. You know, um, it's it's kind of creepy. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like they're trying to replace that with a chip and to put it inside people when they're born. No thanks. Like they want to chip people and stuff. And there's people Go that get are a doing bag it from the grocery store. There's people that are doing it and stuff, and it's like. You depend. They're like submission to technology, and like. And you know, I don't quite agree. I don't agree with the concept at all like, of yeah. um, microchipping humans. Um, but that goes to say, you know, a parent that is willing to embed a piece of technology into a newborn human before it could even make a conscious decision whether it would want it or not hmm. is the whole another question a whole another discussion really I don't I don't agree with the premise to begin with but when adding that you know side of it and that view hmm. it it I don't agree with it even more so. <sighs> that goes to say like um the whole circumcision thing. I I really view it as, you know, male mutilation that's done on a male before he can even make a conscious decision whether he wants to comply or not. But that's my own view. And again, it goes to, you know, this taking away the, the right to choose what is done to your body. Mm -hmm. Man, information just flying through my head. Like, I see it like in video. And I close my eyes and I just see everything like video. Like... Like how you talk and stuff, I can feel it, and I can see like like a video playing in my head. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's just you know, <laughs> we're here now. That's why I said we're witnesses to something. Because everybody, well, I think we're much more than just witnesses. Like we're active participants. Because there's there's this this okay this has been going on for for because everyone each time has their witness something and during their time mm. there's always been something going on you know um, and this goes back way 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 back mm. way before that Jesus baby came across like but it's, there's been like you know. Mm -hmm. Religious wasn't like the thing back 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 in the days. Well, religion. How can I put this? And it was it was viewed a lot and and enacted a lot differently than how we see and enact religion today. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many people right in this world, and then there's so many different like countries and nations and mm -hmm. languages. Like, there's so many different religions. There's so many different ways of life and how they talk and how they live and how they eat and how they shower their their homes. Like, every home is different. There's their own world, you know. And, you know, how they view the world from their homes. Um, and there's all different homes all from the poor to the rich 
like you tap into the energy and you, you can feel the difference and like it's just a weird feeling yeah dare I say it's a multiverse yeah it's kind of like a I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. Because then I'm like, all right, all these different languages, all this different way of life, and this and that. So back, 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 going back, back in the days, like how did these people? How far back you going? Yeah. So I know these people were dropped off. Um, it feels like they've been dropped off, like from all different ways of life. Um, oh. And it's just, it's just weird. And that's why, like, the bloodline is so sacred. Like, like the like the Elizabeth lady, you know, and her, her bloodline. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth. People are gonna be ready for. Like there's gonna be this energy that's gonna hit again, and it's when that old lady passes away. It's gonna be like a nine eleven. Like that energy is gonna pop up again, and mm. I wonder why they're using this energy and they like, doing things, you know, at certain times of life. Because then people are gonna feel bad and sad that she passed away, and you know, and. I can see her passing and who's going to take over, you know, is daddy going to run the country or he's going to let his son run the country. So their future over there in the UK and stuff. And it's, yeah. It's it's gonna you guys are gonna be waking up to <clears throat> a, a, an awakening, a rude awakening, you know, when that lady passes. And her time's coming up. So and well, that goes to the question what power Her bloodline. Her bloodline. There's something about her bloodline. Mm. You know, is it? And and they're yeah, it's it's really like it's kind of like Illuminati type of stuff. Mm. Okay, like it goes. Sounds a reminiscent to them that ominous day. It's coming like ominous real deep. Day. It's deep. It's like the deal with the double deep. Well, you know, even you know, stepping, taking a few steps back, um, why is that bloodline associated with said power? I mean, from my understanding, the, the, the royal family doesn't necessarily, they aren't in control of the country as they were before. So it is. It's just title by, by name, I guess. So what power do they actually wield? And is that power contrived, or is it relinquished by the individuals that give it the power? Well, there's a lot of people that love power. Hmm. You know, they're, they're power hungry. Yeah. yeah, they all the way trickling down all the different facets of society. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes I look at people, I'm like, I don't understand them sometimes, because it's like they give their power away and then demand it from others. It's so weird. Like everyone's energy is just because when I come across people, I I just keep reading people's energy, mm-hmm. and it's like. It's just, it does it automatically. Like, if I see the person, I'm like, it starts, my mind starts breaking everything down and mm. stuff. And I have no control over it. It does it all the time. 
So it analyzes everything and you know it's a it's pretty it's pretty weird. It's just you know, when you've been knocked in the head, you know, and you have a severe concussion and you break your neck and it's like then you got this energy that's just trapped inside there. And then I hear this ringing in my ear. And I'm like, it's like a static sound. It's like a television that's on. Like someone, it's like old television that's on, on static. Uh, I kind of can, uh, can, I relate to it more as, as like a radio than a TV. Yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. but it's like white noise, like. Yeah, like when you're trying to, like, I know you would probably know, but if you have like an actual radio, like, mm -hmm. not like a digital one. Yeah, like, like the one. window with the tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're mm -hmm. tuning it, like when you're not, mm -hmm. you don't have a good enough signal to actually hear it, a, a station clearly, then it becomes that white noise, background noise that I think you're talking about. Man, I took my pain medicine before I started the dose, but it's like, it helps somewhat. Mm -hmm. My pain's really tough, man. Like my neck has been, mm, my my back, my neck, my back, my stomach, my stomach still acting up. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying my best to hold it out, you know, see if it's a healing process or something. Um, my lower abdominals like really it hurts, and like. I got like to deal with this fucking doctor, you know, with, about my medicine and stuff because she needs to continue with my medicine. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to go to a little war with her because she's new to the to the center and they just threw me over to her side. Like it was all good, and then my some my psychiatrist and my trauma therapist recommended me not to be switched. And I went through all the levels, and they told me they weren't going to switch me. And then the next thing I know, I'm switched to this new doctor. And I don't like her energy. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I've never, I, I never had, I've never had a female doctor. So, and then she's Spanish, and then she talks Spanglish. Mm. You know, Spanish, like English, yeah. but kind of like heavy accent. Mm -hmm. And then she just like comes out of left field with some questions. And I'm like, what the fuck that has to do with my appointment? You know, like that type of feeling that I feel. I'm like, and she just starts like just looking at her computer. She doesn't even look at me. Mm. So I'm like... I need a witness to come to an appointment with me because I need someone. I'm maybe my caseworker. I'm gonna see if I can get my caseworker to come to an appointment with me. Yeah, it would be beneficial to have someone there that could attest to how because, you're being treated. Because, um, yeah, I was rubbing my stomach because that's why I had surgery. And my stomach, I, this is a long time sitting. I'm not really sitting. I'm kind of like laying because my chair goes back. Mm -hmm. um, and my chair is, you know, so it's pretty comfortable. Um, but my stomach hurts too. Um, that's a lot of energy that's going through my body. So I'm like hearing the sounds inside my head. And that I can hear that cricket. It's like talking. What, near like, me? I have both oh, my headphones in, so I can't no, there's a bug. Oh, I there's, hear it now. There's a bug sound. And he's talking. He's mm -hmm. loud. I yeah, that. I hear him now. Yeah, he's out there. 
It's probably loud because I've been out here for a little while and I've had yeah. both my headphones in. Because so. I hear him talking mm -hmm. and I'm like, like I'm hearing him. I'm like, oh Lord, he's, he's, he's looking to get laid. Oh mm. Lord, it's like close to two. It's two twenty one right now, so it's almost two twenty two. <laughs> right now, I'm talking about like, um. My number is twenty one. I like that's my birthday number and stuff. And I was born in January. Oh man. Trying to trying to make it a forty. <laughs> you will. That's my thing. I'm trying to trying to make it a forty. It's only two and a half months away. About two and a half, like I wanna say what, three months? So in October, November, December, January, about three months away. So I got to survive. Yeah, just about. I got to survive three months, and let's see if I have to have another surgery. That's that's the let's see part. Mm. I was um I'm having a lot of pain, and um I can hear him. You hear him? No, I put my headphones back in. Oh, now I do. He's loud. If I could hear him. Yeah, he's close to. Yeah. Probably right outside in Breezeway. Mm hmm. They're like, yo, it hasn't been like this warm in a while. Mm hmm. It's like, I thought it was turning cold, but it's nice and it was nice and warm. Um,. Temperatures here have been in the 70s. Uh, yeah, here Connecticut. too. Connecticut's been fall, like not normal. 70s is kind of like a little, little up there in temperature. Um, but it's okay. The colors are starting to change. They're, they're, I'm going to have to take pictures. I'm going to have to figure out something where I can take pictures of... Um, the foliage might go on a maybe on a I bet it's gorgeous. Maybe on Saturday or something. I'll take my camera and then I'll go go for a ride and um check out check out the foliage. Like go for a foliage drive. I think that'll be pretty fun. You see, oh man, my fucking body sucks it sucks and the thing it needs more work and the only thing that i had today done to me it was mostly like i went to my therapy and when i went to therapy they um they had me do the survey because they were um, they were testing me out for my my neck and stuff mm -hmm. so i have to do all these numbers and i was like left right you know, tilt back, tilt forward, all this crazy shit with my neck. Yeah, it's um, it's 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 kind of um. Like they want to see how they get like, testing out your mobility. Yeah, they want to see my numbers and then like how far advanced that I can get, you know, with the treatment because I got to be there for six weeks. So they got now until six weeks to get me much better than where I'm at right now. Right. Today, today I got there a little late and then uh, <laughs> I got there a little late because like I wasn't feeling a hundred percent, but I had to like really psych myself up to like, I walk. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's only a block away, but for me, it's kind of like a marathon and it kind of fucking sucks. Especially having a cross the street that doesn't even have a stop sign. Yeah, that's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Like I, I, I need to talk to the fucking like mayor. Like, yo, mayor. You no, know, I gotta get an exclusive uh, interview. Cause like there's some places that they these cars don't stop. You see the stop sign and I can stand there and show everybody. How many cars just take the stop sign? And you guys would be so fucking amazing. Like, what? 
that's crazy. And I'm like, and like, it's kind of like, it's scary for the pedestrians, especially me, because I walk with a, with a cane. Uh, I got pretty poor balance. Um, and plus, I, my, I get, my hands are always shaking and stuff. So my body's kind of shaking and not feeling too good, especially in my spine. So mm-hmm. it's like a little harder for me. So, you know, I make sure that the cars come to a complete stop so I can fucking cross to the pedestrian, you know, sidewalk, cross the walk. And, um, you know, some cars, I just let them pass because, you know, I wait till the, like, all the cars, you know, take the stop sign. And then once there's no cars coming, then I'll just start walking. I feel more safer that way. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. And that's a stop sign. But you feel like, I feel like, like, like I'm um pausing their their life for me to cross the street, you know. And then I'm like, nah, just let them go. And like, once they are gone, then it kind of clears out, so I can walk across the street. And that's what mm-hmm. I do sometimes. And I just like, there's like a whole bunch of cars that are like lined up. I'm like, I'm not gonna cross until everyone's gone. And then once everyone's gone, then I cross. You know, because I don't want to feel rushed or, or anything. Cause there's fuckers that don't stop at the stop sign, and there some that like 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 you never even cross the road, and they're already like like driving behind you. You know, and it just it feels fucking weird. You know, <laughs> like, no, I do. It's like it's weird. I, I I I just crossing the road should be just crossing the road. Nah, fucking mission impossible. <laughs> like for real, I'm like, do I have to like be mission impossible to fucking cross this fucking crosswalk without getting hit by a car? Um, and then there's like where the hospital is, or the clinic. Um, there should be a stop sign or a crosswalk for people to cross from the park to the at least to the other side of the road. Um, there's no there's no stop sign or anything, and there's just cars just keep coming, and like there's no way to cross over to the other side, you know. And I always got to be careful and make sure that there's no cars coming so I can cross the street. And I shouldn't have to be fucking like playing like Frogger and shit. Like that's crazy. But let's see if I can be able to talk to the mayor. Maybe have some help from my trauma therapist. Maybe she could hook something up and have a meeting with him or something. And just voice out my my opinions of this corner and the other corner. And just fill them in with my ideas. I mean, they could go solar. Um, some of the crosswalks, um, they run on green energy. Okay. Which is solar and they light up. Yeah. They light up and then when it's light up and stuff, like it has flash like flashing and stuff and the peop like people could cross the street. You know. Yeah. No problems. You know. And you would think, you know, with the park being in your close right. proximity that there would be more of that Yeah. Um for pedestrians. Yeah. Actually, I'm a, there's two two places I'm gonna ask if where they have a defibrillator, and um, because I saw this um, show on CN, it was a it was a Connecticut not Connecticut it was a Canadian um, site that I was watching videos from, and um, yeah, it's just it's just crazy. I started itching. You know, that's not a really big ask that you're asking of him. I mean, mm-hmm. even just putting in um, signage. Because of, like, that crosswalk will be a little bit like, because I've seen it before at other places, and there's some really cool ones, like with the lights and stuff. And mm-hmm. cross over with no problems, and then cars will stop. Right. It, it, like it turns red, like the lights turn red and they're like, mm-hmm. 
flashing so that way they know they have to stop. Um, something like that across will be, and they could be green, like I said, they could put the solar panels because they have the solar panels already on these stop signs. And what's bothering me with the stop sign is that they have it blinking. And to me, when I see something blinking, it means like stop but proceed with caution. You know? Mm. And it, yes and no. I mean, I have some signs locally in my area that it, it is like a blinking red yeah. stop sign. Yeah, that's what I have like outside. Mm -hmm. But it's like, to me, I feel like it should be solid red and not blinking. Well, it's blinking to catch their attention. No, they, that's what it is. It does not do nothing for them. They, they're they thinking right. stopping and stop and go. That's what it, because it's you know, more um, a sign. It looks more like a yield sign with a blinking than mm -hmm. a solid red. Because solid red, like in a like stoplight, solid red. Like well, yield, yield would be a blinking yellow light because yeah. I've seen those too in my area. Because um, like, blinking yellow is like proceed with caution. Mm -hmm. Which is what yield is. And then the red would be um, to stop. Yeah, red is stop. And then the blinking red is to stop but proceed with caution. Because um, there, there's yeah. lights that go out, you know, and they blinking and stuff. So... You know, when, when those lights are out like that, then it's like, you know, the four-way stop. Everyone has the mm -hmm. four-way stop, and you have to do that and respect, respect like, the rules of the road, you know. Because I remember, like, in Florida, it was, like, always like that, like, with the lights. <laughs> and it was, like, it's always some storm and some shit knocks out electricity and knocks out the lights. Um, like, Connecticut is so different. But these stop signs, they're blinking stop signs. And I mean, it could just be as sucks. easy as putting up um, that sucks. like little hazard signs or... Um, they don't even have a sign that says hidden driveway. That's oh, wow. crazy. Like yeah. uh, from the parking lot, they should have put a sign that said hidden driveway. And they don't even have that. And there's cars that just take that stop sign. And imagine if someone's trying to pull out from here and they don't see them, and then they're pulling out, and then they don't stop, and they continue like they do all the time, mm. you know, then, like, that's, 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 a, that's a hazard. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's an accident waiting to happen, you know? And I'm, the daytime is bad. I mean, the cops have been trying to do something about it, and they like they post up, and then they they see you know they're looking at the traffic, and then when they turn you know without stopping and stuff, he pulls them over and gives them a ticket, you know. But like, like why, what's making these people think that way? Like, like they don't stop at the stop sign. They literally, I could show you. I'll show you to, like tomorrow, you know. Um, it's nuts. And I can't record from my phone. That's crazy. So I got to figure the sponsorship shit. Like, I got to get the sponsorship going. I haven't spoken to this person yet. <clears throat> she had called me, but I was not feeling good. And I was laying down. And then I was like, oh, well, let me, like, stop laying down. And let me just sit down and deal with this pain and everything that's in my head. And. The shit that I'm having problems with the fucking, like, I would love to talk to the mayor and tell him, listen, dude, like, that stop sign, because there used to be a traffic light there, and they took out the traffic light. They could still put a traffic light there, you know? Yeah. And they have the lines already there. Mm -hmm. you know? It's just made doing it the right way, because, like, I feel more safer if it was a light than... A stop sign because the yeah. light the light is like like stop means stop and i got crossed yeah. and then the numbers will show you know yeah uh, that's what i was gonna say the the advantages of having like a traffic light mm -hmm. is that you could have pedestrian um mm -hmm. give me the, I, where they can press to adjust me, it to where they need yeah. to go give me 45 seconds to cross the road you know, mm -hmm. 
give me a little extra time across the road because it's not too easy. And I think those, 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 that system needs to be there in that corner. You know, God forbid something happens. And I'm like, it's just an accident waiting to happen. And right. And that's why I said it doesn't seem like a big ask that you're asking of them. Because, I mean, it isn't just to accommodate for drivers. It's, it's to accommodate for pedestrians as well. Yeah. And trust me, there's a lot of handicapped people in this building. Not only me, but there's others too. And yeah. it's difficult, you know, trying to cross from there. Um, it's just not safe. Um, in nighttime, forget about it. Don't even... Like, don't don't mm-hmm. dress in dark clothing, like, because... Yeah, that, I could see where that could be very dangerous. You know, it's a little dangerous. Which is why it kind of makes me I curious why... I don't go out um, after holidays and New Year's because there's people that drink, that drink and still drive. And believe it or not, it still happens. Wow. Um, yeah, and I just, you know... I hope for snow sometimes during these holidays, you mm. know, like having a white Christmas. Let's see. Let's see if uh, I should do like a little thing. I should do like a little pool. Mm. Yes, it's going to snow. No, it's not going to snow. And then let's see how many people, you know. I don't know with this climate change thing. They could donate to the show, right? But they could pick which question they want to answer. We'll we'll let them decide. (laughs) Climate change. Yeah, we might not see like a white like holiday, but then we'll get tons of snow come like February, March. Wasn't today like Columbus Day or something? I believe so, yeah. You know, that's another... I don't really particularly follow the the holidays. Another, that right there was, uh, <laughs> uh, if I tell you everything that I know, man, <sighs> and the way they were. Some, like, if not most of it, wouldn't surprise me. They were teaching the kids, because I went through this, and that was my learning. We had to learn the, the ships, the niña, the piña. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, for real? Like they brain, they brainwashed us. Like, yeah, to know that. Oh, uh, like, that reminds me. I gotta send you something once we're done here. You'll get a kick out of it, like I did. Hard. Um. Yeah. It's um. I'm like, come on, those people here before them, like they just polarized it and they brainwashed people to think, oh, look, we did this. And this is part of history. And I'm like, that's not like the true history. Mm. You know, there's a lot of things they're not saying. Like I said, it's just someone's vision. They don't tell you everything. There's a lot of things happening. There's so many worlds from people's eyes and that they do with on a daily basis. So it's like, imagine. Very, like, it's a different world for everyone. It's a different situation. They're not like, like in my situation, they're, you know, they're sometimes are, they're desperate people. And then there's those that are, you know, luxurious, like they, they live the life. And it's just, it's what it is. It's, you know, especially when you're fucked up, it's kind of (laughs) hard. It's hard to do things. I had to smoke a joint just to get this show late night. I couldn't even sleep. That's how much pain I'm in. And then thinking about this doctor, like, like close to my medicine running out, and they still haven't found a, a clinic for me to go to. So she's going to continue my medicine. Yeah. And I have to have my ther- my therapist like really talk to her, like have a sit down talk with her, and let my therapist like educate her about me. Because she has the patience to talk to uh, like because they're professionals, so 
she she like but talking to me it's like talking to like a like she trying to talk to me like I was like a five year old and shit. And then not even paying attention to me and just worrying about the other medicines that she had to type in into the computer, which I found very weird. It's, all she had to do was get a thing from Walgreens and they a, a copy of uh, the medicines, and that's it. She didn't have to like type it in each one into her system. Like, it's kind of weird. And then she was looking at the computer more, she was looking at me. I'm like, what the fuck? And she asking me questions and she's still looking at the computer. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy how I'm like, doctors treat their patients these days. Holy shit. I'm like, I'm in pain, lady. I live with chronic pain. And I'm going to be in chronic pain for the rest of my life. I've been through a lot of surgeries. Too many surgeries. Kind of lost count by now. Um, I'm just trying to reach 40. <laughs> um, it's a lot of surgeries I've done. And the recent ones really so like, kind of like put me on a reset. And then my PTSD kind of sucks. And then I smoke the medicine. It makes me feel better. You know, I kind of like, I guess... The hallucinants of of the medicine, the the medicine itself, it kind of like helps distract certain nerve system, like the nerve system, or you know, um, within your insides, um, like to channel the plane to an area, and I know where it's hurting me and where I'm 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 having problems, so. Um, really gotta like figure shit out. <laughs> it's like for me, it's like it's a hard story. Like my my world is fucked up. My world, I'm like dealing with my physical pain, and that's a whole different world. You know, going to therapy constantly, going to therapy. You know, this year was kind of like a freaking curveball. <laughs> Talking about playoffs, I think the baseball they're in the playoffs. Um, yeah, but I got a curveball. Um, I think it was like the Yan- the Yankees versus the Astros. Um, that was that that. I mean, which again, like I was telling you, I think it was earlier today, but like the professional. Uh, gaming yeah. leagues and how they play out, yeah, and all of that, like the Yankees versus the Astros. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. What a name, too. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't sound like. A good thing to have that type of name. What, like astral? Like an astral body? Astral beings? Yankee. Oh, Yankee? I guess it's like a Yankee dude. Well, it, at, I do recall like it using, being used as a derogatory term as well as not, but... Yeah, well. Yeah, it was a uh, despairingly. It was applied despairingly by Dutch settlers in New York to English colonists in Connecticut. The state has a lot of death on it on the land. There's been a lot of deaths on this land. Um. A lot of people died in the state. That's why a lot of homes here in Connecticut are haunted. And there's a lot of spirits. And I have a few of them in my home. They're okay. They have been fucking with me. Sorry about my French. Um, 
Yeah, but they've been doing. No need to apologize. It is late night. Yeah, this Halloween. This is like you know, want to hear a Halloween story? Oh boy! Uh, here it goes. This apartment has some energy, and um, it keeps it keeps. There's a there's a sadness in this apartment. Um, mm. It's not heavy. I don't feel heavy and stuff like that. But the way how fast the story of this the people that was before me here. Like that energy is still trapped here, and I think it's his energy that's here. He doesn't fuck with me. He was he was cool with me. So, but there's been things happening in this apartment. Like this, like the spirits, they're here, and I know they're here. And they saw something walk from left to right. That's crazy. But um, he was a priest, you know. The person died in this apartment. And uh, I tell him, look, you do the dishes, you put them away. That's a good deal. You don't pay no rent, motherfucker. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, um, but that energy's here. And the way she dipped with another guy and got, like, engaged, like, to get married. And I was like, damn, that was fucking quick. Wow. That was the pastor's wife. And she already had another guy lined up. Mm. Hmm. I spoke to one of the residents from our building. She actually moved out, but I saw her at the grocery store. So I kind of like, we started talking. I was like, oh, damn, what's up? So she was talking to me about the pastor's wife. I was like, yeah, and you saw how she got engaged, how fast she got engaged, and she left. And she's like, yeah, I know. That's why I never followed her. That's why I never gone to a church. That's just crazy. Like, I was like, you know? It makes you wonder all this religious stuff. You know, she's like she had she had to know this guy from before to get engaged that quickly. Like she knew her husband was dying and she already had someone lined up because she didn't want to be by herself. That's what um. I'm thinking. It could be. I mean, it also could be that, you know. And the guy was staying here, too. That was the crazy shit. Like, it was like, a, like, like it was not, not that long. And then the guy was, like, here. And then I they started, I remember talking to her. And it's just like, oh, look, like, at the ring. I was like, huh? She's like, yeah, I'm engaged and this and that. And I'm like, <laughs> Like that's kind of fast. That's like super fast. That's like faster than Superman. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but that was a quick, a quick turnaround, and she got engaged, and then she moved, and then I ended up getting this apartment. Mm. It was that long. It like it was so fast. I was like, like I was wondering what the guy, you know, was coming over and stuff, and I'm like. And then she's like, yeah, that's my boyfriend, whatever. And then she's like, then they got engaged. And she's like, oh, yeah, he's my husband now. And I'm like, I have this look of, like, puzzled face look. Like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Like, because I feel the energy. And I'm like, I know she, she, was, she was talking to him for a while before. Um, this guy died and, you know, and she was married to the pastor. So makes you wonder. And, uh, yeah, he passed away of a heart attack. I think it was in the other room, not my room, but the other room. And, um, and they used to pray a lot because remember he was a pastor so in my kitchen area, I have a table there. And um, the way I sit is where he used to sit. 
and um, you could just feel the energy. Yeah, you because know, they did a lot of prayer in that little that section. Mm-hmm. Like, they even hold hands and everything, and yeah, it was then you know they had their own it's like their own clang. It was like a little clang. A lot of kids too. Holy shit, there was a lot of kids, little kids, not their kids, but like their grandkids. They had a lot of grandkids. They had horny kids, I guess. Um. But she left. She went to Atlanta, Georgia. She moved from hmm. from my to yeah, with the guy. And the church that was out here, they just she just left it behind. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wow. You know, just tapping into that energy. I'm like, wow, that was fast. Um, I don't know. I always felt weird, that energy weird. Her energy, his energy. They always used to invite me to the church, and I'm like, I don't even go. I'm like, nah, no thanks. Like, Nah. Plus, I found out what he used to do before, like what he, what he did before, kind of got him in trouble. Um, it's like you know, like it's like it's not good, and he you know he did wrong. And it's kind of weird because he had it's kind of like a like he had like an asterisk like asterisk like he was a pastor but like he he did he did wrong before um it's just I just see it and I'm like oh because I'm like tapping into his energy and he's like he's here. So he's just letting me see things. And um it's cool that I'm able to do that. Cause then I see things from his eyes. And I'm like, that's fucked up. Like for real. Like how can you be with someone for like less than a month and then like like the guy just died and like a month later she had another guy like what the that seemed pretty quick but then again you know everyone grieves for a long time she had no she they were together they were married for a long time and they have kids together and stuff but her moving along, like, I think they had made that deal that she was going to move along to probably be dating with her or somebody else. I think they talked about that. Um, but damn, that was fucking fast. Sorry, the French. But that was fast. And I always feel like that, like, that's fucked up, like, energy. And sometimes it does some crazy shit in my apartment. It dropped, it had, it, like, when I was in the hospital, you know, like, my roommate here, um, not really a roommate, he's just staying here. Um, I was in the hospital, and he was here, and then there was a gallon of water on top of the refrigerator towards the back, and the water, the gallon of water levitated out, landed on the floor. And he he jumped up, like from his room. He goes to the kitchen, and the water's just pouring out of the gallon on the floor. So he's like, he picked it up, and he was like, "Oh shit!" So he had to dry it up, and like it freaked him out. He he ended up leaving the house that night, 
um, because that gallon of water was on towards the back. And that thing levitated out from the back into the floor. And I was just trying to catch his attention. He must have been doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. And I think the pastor got mad. And he did that. My friend ended up not going, like, not staying here. It was a little bit too much. And I told him, you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Yeah, you know, they when like they they kind of watch after me. Like I feel like these spirits, like they're here to help. You know I me; mean? they know how fucked up I am. And um, it is what it is. But yeah, they do things. They they like the one that freaks me out is the the cup in the kitchen. And I put that cup in the sink, in the in the in the dish rack, and then I go to my room, lay down. I hear the sound, and the cup is on the counter. And I'm like, "Wait a minute! Did I put this cup?" In I was like, "Yeah, I, I put the cup. I made sure I put it in the sink, like on the on the dish rack." Then I go to lay down. And then I hear the sound again, and the cup is on the counter. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if you don't do something like that, put it away. Mm-hmm. Like, open up the door, put the dishes away while you're at it. Like, season the meat, do something. Like, it surprised me, make me some meatloaf. And then I, I'll be like, okay. Because they're doing things, you know, they do things and they just, you know, like for attention that they're able to do certain things. You know, they're they're a little advanced these spirits, and um, I always feel like the Wi-Fi is enhancing them. I think maybe that's the sound that I'm hearing because I keep hearing that that sound in my head. But um, but since I've been here, things have been peaceful. Because they know I don't play around. I'm fucked up. You know, I don't got time for this crazy shit. You know, they, you want to do the, the ghost thing, that's fine. You know, I watched the movie before. It was pretty sad with Patrick Swayze. And what's her name? I, feel, I always forget her name. Damn. I forgot her name. Damn, what's her name? Yes, you got you got to know her name. Who? I'm sorry. From I was movie, distracted. From the movie Ghost. What was her name? Oh, I don't remember her name. I can look it up, though. Oh, man. I'm trying to use the energy. Not the energy, but, like, her energy is weird. Um, damn, I forgot her name. You know, she has someone died in the back of her, her house, one of her houses. In the Demi f- Moore? There you go, her. Her. Yeah. She had somebody die in the back of her house? Yeah, in the pool. He drowned in the pool. Oh, wow. On one of her properties. And I guess it was like a pool party or whatever. And, and I don't know how he died. No one knows how he died. I didn't think but he drowned. You could look it up. You could probably find the story. All you have to do is type the meme more. Drowning in pool. <laughs> and you'll get videos. You get like probably people talking about it. Feels more like a sacrifice. Mm. But yeah, spirits are everywhere, you know, there's good, there's bad, there's the ones in the middle, there's ones that always want your attention, there's ones that will touch you and scratch you and push you and some some of them, they're, they're slick, you know, 
you just sometimes you got to be firm with the spirits like with me i have i'm always firm so you know i just tell them you know this is my home now and this is where i'm at you know you want to come by that's straight but don't be like going crazy and shit because I, I don't got time for crazy and just make sure this is my home and i i cleanse this home like before i moved into this apartment i cleansed it you know, and every now and then I'll turn on my sage like I'm going to do now. And I always cleanse my home. I'll burn some sage. I got to send your shit. I'm so, uh, let's see how I do tomorrow. I feel like shit. I've been feeling like shit. But I'm burning some sage. Okay. Try to do this thing. I'm hitting with the leaf, with the feather, the hog feather. That flame is strong. A beautiful flame. Very strong flame. I'll let it burn out on its own. I like to cleanse my home. When I talk about the spirits, you know, I tend to cleanse it with some white sage and the smoke. See how the fire kept going? It goes down and it comes back up. But um, I burn sage here and make sure because I have my door open so the 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 sage goes through my room and outside. And there goes the smoke. And that's the sage. See, this is different sage. This sage, this is loose sage. Which, in the future, once I start doing more private, private time meetings with, with different people, um... In the future, I'll be able to get some more of this sage. I want to buy another, like, round of the sage. Because I like to burn the sage during my my shows. And, you know, if I'm talking about spirits and stuff, I like to, like, my area. You know, my home. Yeah. Uh, especially when I talk about that guy. I'm not going to say his name. There's no need. <laughs> yeah, but I I said it in my head. Mm. So I know who it is. And he said it like the name like it's kind of like it's kind of like an echoey sound. Which is, you know, just they know how fucked up I am. So they don't bother me. But my pain sucks. It keeps me up at night. I'll be pain. I'll be in so much pain. Like I take my pain medicine and it'll it'll come it'll, it'll come for me for a bit. But then I'm still in pain. Mm. And I'm like, oh man. Unfortunate. Yeah. But then when I take the medicine again, like later on, then it calms it down. So I took my medicine before coming on here, a little bit before that. And um, I'm still in pain. 
So I may have to take a pill before I go to sleep. And yeah. My anxiety is picking up pretty much because of the f- I'm like my medicine's running low and I need this doctor to refill my medicine and she needs to continue my pain management because they can't find a place for me to go and she she's going to have to handle it. If she can't, she can't handle it, then she put me with a doctor that can handle my pain situation. Because I live with right. chronic pain, and I'm going to live with that for the rest of my life. And, you know, the pain medicine helps calm it down, you know, to make it tolerable. But to not have it is going to be hell for me. It's, it kind of kind of makes people suicidal. That's how yeah. painful it is. So... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it's crazy. And your and your phone, they always get your fingerprints when you touch the screen. They're always getting your fingerprint is always being read on the phone. I try my best not to touch with my finger so much, like so much of my fingerprint. Because this like the smartphones, they they read your fingerprints. And like sometimes when you turn on like when you turn on your phone, you use your finger in the back screen and it just turns on the phone for you. That's a locking system. Mm-hmm. Someone comes and try to get in the phone and they can't because it's a different um biometric. Um Yeah. It's crazy. And it's the and they're always reading, they're always listening. They're always watching, they're always hearing, and they're always having your fingerprint. Um, I try, try to tell people, try to use stencils. You know, the stencils for like... The stylus. Like the stylus, there you go. Those stencils. Stencils mm-hmm. are little pencils, the color pencils. There's the stylus, I mean. Um, you try to use those as much as you can. And don't touch your phone too many times because it has a lot of germs too. You know it's your germs, but a lot of like, like there's people out there, like they share phones and they share. Or even just sitting your phone down too. Yeah, like germs get on it. And, you know, like I think there's a show that talks about that. And how much, like, like even fecal matter on the phones and, mm. like, like, weird shit, like, on your phone. And, like, it's, it's just, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Trying to be able to reach for a little bit more for our call list tonight. Just my pain just sucks. Yeah, I, I'm really sorry that you have to go through that. And, ugh, just, and just anxiety. I can't imagine. Pain. Like I have my own, you know, it's not on a constant 24 hour basis, mm. but I struggle with my own level of pain. So I can relate, but mm-hmm. I couldn't imagine it. It's like on that intensity. It's like it's 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 hard. It's hard. And it's a lot to deal with. I that the anxiety and the stress and the depression mm-hmm. that comes with it, and the anxiety because like this doctor's acting weird and stuff. Yeah. And I, I don't on see on many different guy. levels. So I'm like, I need a I need a witness there with me, and I want my, yeah. my caseworker. Um, that's been helping me out. I want her to come to my appointment. I want her just to be a witness and like tell this doctor what's up because this doctor doesn't know me and I don't know her. Right. And, and it would be, I think it would be benefit to you to have um, someone there that can, like you said, like witness and be present for the interactions so they can attest to it. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, like you said, like 
she doesn't really know you. Like, she might know of your medical history, but mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily mean she knows you. Yep. And to have someone that's been on your medical team for a long time and then have would be beneficial, of... I think, for mm -hmm. them to kind of collaborate and, you know, on a professional level. Because, I mean, not saying you're this way, but I could understand her hesitancy with um, prescribing um, the level of pain medication that you need to deal with your pain on the standpoint of, of it being um, high susceptibility of it being abused by someone who may not necessarily need it. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Yep. But the thing is, like, the way I am, I definitely... Right. Know. So, you know, it's she like a bias know. that some doctors get that, you know, people kind of elaborate and uh, exaggerate their pain to, to be able to get access to certain medication. No, but no. then at the same time, for people like you who actually do need it, it's like a hindrance because it's like a mission. It's almost like an uphill battle of you having to justify and defend yourself for what you need to be able to function normally or, you know, some semblance of normalcy to That's someone easy. who thinks that you're automatically don't need it. And it's almost like an obstacle that you don't, you shouldn't have to jump through. I feel like a fucking horse jumping fucking hurdles. Which Those, and you shouldn't have to because you know that's adding. That's adding more stress and more situation. My, it's my, like making it worse because not only do you have to, you know, cope with the pain that you go through on a constant basis. But then it's adding a whole nother level of mental distress because, you know, the anxiety of, you know, will I have my medication or will it be taken from me, you know, um, and then also adding to your pain because you would have to be almost stringent because of them not consistently filling your prescriptions. So you have to almost like tolerate the pain so that way you have enough to last you. That, that, that's you, know, you know what I mean? It's just adding a whole nother level that doesn't need to be added. My pain is, is already like beyond crazy. And, and I gotta like, I gotta be like convincing people and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is that about? Mm. Like, this is, this, it's like a fucking show. I'm like, doesn't it doesn't make sense? Yeah, it's the whole side of the the whole um, push of the whole like uh, prescription dependency and opioid yeah. crisis. I just think it's, it's it's just they like the people that are on the strong shit. That's that's a little different. Like mine's is not like it's it handles you know the time that I need it for. And I still feel mm -hmm. like I'm under prescribed, and um, my pain is just too much. And yeah. I, I'm I'm diagnosed with chronic pain syndrome, and I'm diagnosed with um, what was it? I have it, the my diagnosis. Yeah, but my you know, somebody that's looking in from the outside that doesn't necessarily know you or your yeah, circumstances I, holistically. I'm gonna get my doctor to um also sit in on the appointment. Right. Uh, have him like be like <clears throat> You know, that should be, you know, a thing. Like if they're gonna force this doctor upon you, that should have been either done prior to her becoming like 
from them switching you to her or after you know it was they weren't official. supposed to switch me that's the case oh, i know i know um I'm saying you, you I, would think that professionally if they were um, going to switch your main doctor especially because she's like becoming your like main doctor mm, that well, there would be some sort of co uh, consultation between all different facets of doctors on your medical team to mm. kind of bring her up to speed about your treatment and and all of that so that way this could have been alleviated oh it was tried i tried i had like three recommendations for them not to switch me and they all failed and still switched me. Yeah. Like, there wasn't so much. And, 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 you know, with that, like, there should have been, like, some initiative for the doctor's office, let alone her, to consult with all of your doctors and to kind of get an understanding and the thing is that the doctor, my doctor, he didn't go nowhere. He's there. They just passed me over to her. Right. You know, and he knows more about me than she does. And yet he's not my doctor. Mm. I have to deal with this lady. Like doesn't know shit and asks me the same questions every week about or my. Or had, uh, there should have been like a transition yeah. period. Why you you think? Me about my family. I'm not here to talk to you about my family. You know, mm -hmm. like two two weeks in a row, it was like the same, like the same thing. Like it was like it's like it's already rehearsed in her, like it's programmed. She's programmed to say the same shit, and it's, mm -hmm. like, it's just weird. And I I just don't I don't feel like her energy, and how she like does her medical. And I'm not the only person that's having problem with this doctor. Um, there's about ninety percent of other patients that are, are mm -hmm. really against this doctor and they're fucking up their medicines and um yeah it's kind of like it's it's nuts it's nuts yeah it's like you gotta fight it's very doctor. um it's, a, it's literally like a, a like a, leave. and remember that's a lot of energy and i have to like mm -hmm. It's just crazy. But yeah, they diagnosed me with major depression disorder and PTSD and anxiety and poor sleep. And let's see, there's like a whole list. <laughs> it's like. Well, I mean, you know, even just the list. Poor concentration. Said, I mean, that's all. Poor all energy. Poor sleep, hypertensive. Um, yeah, they're all interconnected. Um, I have anxiety, big time anxiety, and and there's a lot of yeah, because my doctor, um, my well, he's he's the gentleman. Um, he's, he's a doctor and he controls my medicine and mm -hmm. he, he makes sure that I'm taking certain medicines and stuff. So he's a really good, <coughs> really good doctor. But I'm going to talk to him tomorrow because they're calling me. They kept calling me from the community health center to have to see my provider. So I want to make sure if I can bring some witnesses with me. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not going to record her on my phone. You know, I don't record people sneaking, recording people without their permission. Well, I mean, that's um, not really out of the... Like, I don't see that as being an issue if you do it with her, like, with her acknowledgement, like, in the beginning say, you know, for my own record, I want to have this recorded. You know, I don't see that as being be something scared. out of. I thought of that, she's going to freak out. <laughs> she's going to freak out because I'm going to tell her straight up. 
I'm like, you need to go subscribe to my channel and watch. <clears throat> Support my channel too. Leave a like, leave comments. <laughs> like for real. But this doctor, I mean, she needed to get on the on the ball. She needs to get on that ball quick. And she needed to be rolling her ass over here. You know. Um let's see, let's see what happens. Let's let's see what the battle see what happens with the battle. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get a sponsor. For when I tell you I'm getting a sponsor, I'm getting a sponsor for my to sponsor my live shows. Mm. So that's that's coming. And um and it's gonna it's gonna be better for me to be sitting here and doing shows live than to be recorded. I mean it's okay, but I like kinda like the I like the life. Because it's like more interactive. I kind of miss it too. Yeah, and there's other people there talking, and you know, you get a lot of drama. It's like, oof, my goodness. Well, you know how I feel about the drama, but I do love, I did love, and I still do, mm -hmm. the camaraderie with, mm -hmm. you know. I'm like, I people try. Of different walks of life coming together and supporting each other. I try my best to have a good conversation with anybody and everyone mm -hmm. and that's why I'm gonna try to do it and just have people come on the show you know one at a time because I don't want to deal with so many energies at the same time because it's a lot it's a yeah. lot I mean too and many in your present state I don't think that's the best option mm -hmm. to be dealing with um unknown Mm -hmm. because I could bring people in that I know and stuff and I could feed off the energy and stuff like that. If we're doing readings and stuff like that, then I can have other people with me because that enhances my energy too for readings. Um, I just, I like, like other psychics is pretty cool with, you know, that, you know, they, you know, they, they focus on their energy. Instead of on the drama, um, yeah. you gotta feel the energy, listen to the energy, listen to yourself. Like a lot of these readings, like I help people out. Like I don't even like half of the time don't even use the cards. It's just talking mm -hmm. to them and listening to them, and then like telling them what's up, and that's it. And. You know, sometimes I get messages, you know. I get messages and I, I see things, I hear things all the time. My dreams, I always remember my dreams. Like, we're supposed to talk about that too. But yeah. I still yeah. have it in my I'm memory. sorry that I haven't, like, scheduled that. I've been <laughs> preoccupied with other yeah. ventures. I do the, the, the dream. Dreams. Huh. <sighs> so much we gotta talk yeah. about our dreams so the people could uh like i'm telling you i'm I'm gonna bring back the live shows and i i gotta i gotta really work on that and it's coming once it comes it's gonna be like it's gonna be fun again people will, a lot more people will come and just have a good time talking and bring on people and just talking different topics different uh, trust me it's just like everyone has a butt right so mm. has a topic <laughs> and um it's like you know, just gotta deal with it and um hopefully i can bring the show back for oh coming coming soon not a matter of if it's a matter of when yeah it's like a matter of when when that trigger is going to pull through and yeah then it's going to be when the timing's right that's when it will come i mean and then honestly i'm not saying that i would it wouldn't have liked it if it did already mm -hmm. but yeah. i think with your predicament i think it wasn't in, in the cards mm -hmm. but it happened just yet mm -hmm. I gotta record the the snowfall, so yeah, things that I need to get or order for me to be able to do what I want to do.
to record because I want to mm-hmm. get something that I could because I, I need donations. So I'm not going to be like, but I need something that I can stick it to the wind, like the window, and but I can still film outside, like in a higher angle, so people can see the snowfall. Uh, I see. This year, it's it's this year winter. Hmm. Gonna, yeah, it's gonna, gonna be a blistering one. They're gonna be shoveling Still some. Snow. my bones. They're gonna be still shoveling snow. And it's they 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 got the machines here, which is cool. This building, um, they they, the super is really awesome. He's super awesome. Um, he's a good guy. He's actually a friend of mine. He's a, actually a friend friend that actually, like, you know, smoke with me. And mm. um, now he's real cool. And actually, I got to see him tomorrow because you got to roll up a joint, but like, you got to smoke it with me. Mm. Um, but they got to fix this pipe in my apartment that was leaking uh, in this part of the heater system, the heating, like, for the heater. Yeah. So my apartment still doesn't. The building has heat, but my apartment doesn't because the pipe. You need to see to that ASAP. Yeah, the part, the, but I like the cold though, so I don't mind it, the temperatures right now. Because, like, tonight's low is going to be probably, like, 49, 48, maybe. Yeah, um, you, but do you want to get it before it drops lower? Because it's oh, not yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah. about I heating don't... your apartment. About It's about keeping your pipes from freezing. Yeah, no, but it's, like, my apartment, it's it's warm, though. It, it's not, like, freezing. Like, it's not going to get frozen or anything like that. My apartment's not like that. Like, I have the window open, like, cracked open, but about, I'm going to say about four inches yeah now but not in a couple of weeks yeah but when i close the windows it kind of the, the the apartment is so big that mm-hmm. it's like a, a balance you know it's but the heat will be well, that's good fine. i they're, guess they're gonna fix it this week so i'm not too worried about oh, okay it. they're fixing it this week um i like, thought you meant you still had to like contact him about oh, scheduling it oh no they already know it's oh, okay. Thing. I'm waiting for the company. I the people for the boiler, they're the ones that gotta repair it. So okay. because it's their system and this is part of one of the new apartments and that shouldn't be leaking. Um but <clears throat> they'll change the pipe and then they could turn on after they're done, then they could turn on the the water that that needs to flow and then turn on my heating system and that way I could uh, control be able to control the temperature because even though I can make my apartment really cold my room very mm. cold but then I could also fix it with the with the temperature with the um, with the heating um, temperature thing that I have right there by my bed it's like right above it so I could control it like literally like like I just have to put my hand like this and then put it to the temperature where I want it. That's good. So it's really good. Like the heating in my apartment is very good. Um, that's something I'm not even worried about. I'm not worried about it at all. Cool. But it's going to be a cold winter. And, mm-hmm. you know, we're not going to see warm days until – like once these warm days have like finished happening this week, because man, it was warm today. It was nice though. But it was. It was a nice day today. Yeah, it was a little like uncomfortable warm, I think, for me, because of the time of the year, and I'm not used to it being 70 in the middle yeah. of October. So it was pretty uh, unexpected, but really nice. It was a nice like. It was okay, but my body was hurting, and that's that's the thing about like my body's really sensitive to the temperature, and mm-hmm. like these type of temperatures, they kind of make me really hurt and make make me ache. Um, if it's gonna be cold, make sure just let it be cold so that way it numbs out my pain, you know, and I'll just deal with it, you know, the best way I can, and I have my buddy that will come pick me up and drop me off to my appointment. If, you know, I have any appointments and stuff, and then he'll take me home, you know. 
that would, uh, that would be something that he he always helps me in the winter with that. So that's cool. Uh, it's good that you have that that you can count on. Mm. So, but I gotta make sure we got everything settled, like ready for winter, which is almost I got like everything, so I'm not worried, you know. But it's gonna be a it's gonna be a few storms that are gonna hit here, and it's gonna drop heavy snow, like a good amount of snow, and I want to document it from my angle from where I live and uh man I wish I had a camera outside like uh my like I could view and everyone could see from outside but um I'll try to do my best to get what I need for my tablet so I can record it from my tablet through zoom and I'll use my phone also for another angle. So, you know, I'll be talking and we could probably be watching the snowfall and just leave it, leave it running. You know, people could watch and check in during the day like I used to do. Yeah, I remember those streams. Yeah. And you see those They're very pleasant. Yeah. Relaxing. And people just watching the snowfall. Mm-hmm. That's all. You know, you're watching the snowfall and it's cool. It's nice. It's quiet. You know, it's um, it's 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 cool. I like the. I like that I can have. I can record the outside area and I can show people like what's happening over here. Like I watch shows from different countries, you know. I like to know like what's going on in different countries, and like like I was saying before, I've been following a lot of Japan, to- like Tokyo, um, mm-hmm. Fukushima, um, all these different areas in Japan, and just just like looking into it, and you know, walk like just it's like people's blogs and um there's a few channels that i have been like watching um only in japan is one of them and then there's another channel it's him and his family but his kid his kid is a little too energetic so his energy really kind of messes me up sometimes um Mm -hmm. it's his family like videos but if it's something like touristy or he does other things that doesn't involve the kids and stuff then i could you know pay attention more and be able to you know tap into the energy um but the the kids are a little bit too much (laughs) like his son not his daughter his daughter is really cute and she's like she she tried to teach us the the, her son like like not her her brother like to calm down and stuff and because he's really like he's 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 definitely like a monkey hmm. yeah definitely like a monkey but um yeah oh man and this new like this full moon at, at this time of oh man it was really like the weekend was horrible I was in so much pain. The same way I feel, not not like how I feel now, because like Sunday was horrible. Oh man, it made me wonder. Yeah, the energy was quite potent. Oof, it was so I I couldn't I couldn't talk. Like I didn't want to, like I just wanted to stay sleeping. It was just a lot of energy, and then this buzzing in my head was pretty strong. And it was just a lot of energy. And yeah. it's like, it's nice. It hit me physically on, on Sunday. Because I'm watching these shows of Japan, right? And right as the full moon, they're getting hit by a, um, what was it, um, typhoon? Yeah. I forgot the name of it, Haiyan. Haiyan. Oh, I forgot the name of it. It's something on each. Um, 
they got hit by a typhoon at the same time they got an earthquake mm-hmm. and it was full moon and it was the strongest hurricane, like cyclone um, typhoon to hit Japan and landed like with a hundred mile per hour winds mm. kind of like a category two when it landed a lot of people got fucked up over there. Sorry about my French. But, like, farming, talking about farming, mm. something that was that was kind of, like, messed up because they really messed up on the farming. So the prices in Japan are, is going to go up on food, produce, all that stuff is going to go up. The U.S. is always going to help them because they help Japan. Um they'll send in, you know, help and send in food and stuff like that. I hope with, with foods. Because their, their crops got destroyed. You know, you're talking about what, 20 meters? No, there's a millimeter. I forgot if these meters are 20 inches. I'm not sure the numbers on it. But they got enough rain that they get in a whole year. They got it in one day. Wow. So there was a lot of flooding. They're not showing so much of it. But I'm telling you right now, I can feel the energy. And a lot of people did die. Mm -hmm. So they evacuated a lot of people. Like, it was... Yeah, that's... um... When I was reading the article earlier, it was one of their little, you know, side articles that, you know, at the end where they, like, suggest other articles. That was one that the, like, the death toll and, like, injury toll is still climbing. You know, and not only that, but the the structural collapse in New Orleans. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah, that was actually another one, too, now that you mention it, that they were still searching for a missing yeah. worker. Let me tell you, that building, how, like, how in the hell did it, like, with the construction that is, like, hap- like companies of these days, that it's supposedly more into what they're doing, how flimsy was the mm-hmm. support? in that building like yeah. how how does that happen like that that like was they like i don't know the whole story i didn't really look into the whole story yet but um yeah, neither have i was it an addition that they were building or was it uh, a new structure i don't i think i think it was a like a continuation from Like, uh, they wanted to build up higher. And then, like, how, like, the the structure itself, like, the support beams, how did it all fail? Like, and then it just fell, like, it just, it, like, pancaked, you know, in some areas. Mm. And, like, how the hell did that happen? I mean, there are different variables that could have attributed to it collapsing, like but said, um, without knowing, uh, without looking into it, I couldn't say for sure. I think the vibration played some kind of role. Um, like, I don't know. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how, how would they do something? Why would they do something like that flimsy? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, it could just be as simple as it being an oversight. That will be. Or incompetence. That, that's a crazy lawsuit. Well, it's depending on, you know, the reason for its collapse very well. Could well, the be. one that, that died. That's a definite, definite lawsuit, but. They have insurance for that. Mm. Um, that's how you pay insurance. 
they they're the ones that pay out. Companies gonna get inspected, of course, and like they are gonna have to run through everything, their plans, their floor plans, like like you don't understand. This is a lot of like I see a lot of charts. I see mm -hmm. a lot of blueprints. I see these people like getting ready for, you know, for the future when they're gonna have to go to court and explain, you know, to the widows of the ones that passed. Yeah. You know, I just hope they just, you know, just take care of them. Because, like, me too. I just take care of them and then. Don't make it dirty. Don't make it like a, a dirty dirt, like a court case to distract everybody again. Um, like they know they're wrong. But it's confusing how, and I'm pretty sure these engineers are really like, like not sleeping at night like I am. Because they're overthinking, they're thinking too much. Like, how the hell did this thing happen like this? And like, what, what? Like, they're backtracking and like figuring out what everybody did. Because that's a team yeah. that does it. It's not one person. It was like, I think it was like a yeah. hundred people working there. Yeah, especially on a project that big, it wouldn't be just one. Let's break engineer. it down. The the name of the company is Hard Rock cafe hard mm -hmm. rock falling mm. building falling 9-11 mm. in new orleans um it's a lot of energy you heard about the cop that shot this lady in texas I'm, I'm telling you, Texas is wild. Their cops are wild. Um, this guy, he walks into her property like, through the back. He pulls out his gun and his flashlight towards the wind to the window and shoots the lady. What? Yeah, and she lives. She lives in the house and. She was playing like, video games with her nephew that was, that was staying there. And the reason why the, the – the, okay, I'll tell you what happened. Um, the cops were called out to the property by a neighbor who said that they, you know, they – to see if they could send a, wel a welfare check. Um on Hold these, on, what? On, yeah, this is crazy. It's crazy. I'm telling you the story what what happened. Um, the neighbor called 911 and wanted a welfare check on the neighbor from across the street. Okay. And the cops come and they're going through her property. Instead of like knocking on the door or something, they go through the back, right? And they're looking around. And then he looks like with the flashlight to the window. And then he screams, let me see your hands. Boom, and shoots. He didn't announce that he was the police. He didn't. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's on his, his body cam. He didn't announce that he was the police. He didn't give time the individual to put their hands up he shot the the bullet within three to four seconds after saying put your hands up not even it was just that quick and they arrested the the police officer he's in jail and Good. they they he, they charged him with murder and um they put his bail at two hundred thousand dollars which ten percent of that is twenty thousand, so he could probably bail himself out. Um, but he's being he's 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 gonna be seeing murder charges like the other police officer, the female, the one that thought she 
it was her apartment. Like that was that was you see, this is so weird. <clears throat> she thought it was her apartment, right? She walks in and tells the one to put his hands up, whatever, and stuff like that. And then she ends up shooting the guy and killing him. And this is a female cop. Mm. She thought it was her apartment. She walked in and she shot this individual. Like, okay, how close was this apartment looking like the way that your inside apartment looks? Like, you can't tell the difference. Mm. Like, if I walk into somebody else's apartment, <clears throat> as soon as I walk in, I'm going to know the difference. You know? And she shoots this guy, the black guy. Okay. Mm. They gave her, they gave, I forgot how much time they gave her. <clears throat> like, they gave her time for, like, jail time. I didn't really check on the jail time on how long. Um, but then this guy now, this police officer, he goes up around the property. I'm like, damn, they don't have, like, a warrant or nothing. Since it was a 911 call and it was a welfare check, um, they went through the back and they the guy put his, his flashlight to the window and he screams, put your hands up, boom, and shoots. <coughs> shoots the individual. And she's the homeowner. It's just... That's her house. So that's tragic and sad. So the cops they they arrested him. They had to have cuff him and mug him and like you know, the booking and charge yeah. them charge them with murder. He he did not announce that he was the police department, you know, the sheriff's department or whatever, you know, whatever county police department. Put your hands up. No. He just said, put your hands up, boom. Let me see if I can send you the thing so you can see it. Let me see if I still have it on my phone. Shit was crazy. I send you some 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 stories I, I like if I see. Mm-hmm. Hold on. <laughs> look, look, listen, oh my god It's just getting crazier and crazier um, A man showed up to a California police department With a body in his car And admitted to killing four people This is breaking in uh, CNN Wow um. Let me send you this I'll send it to you Put it on there. I have my phone with me. That's what I'd be doing. If you're part of my clan, I'll send you like news that I feel that it's something that you that be uh you know for you to see. It's like I I screen these I screen these uh these videos or information, you know. Depending on what catches my attention. But yes, I can send that to you. Yeah, I got it. I'm was reading it. Oh Lord. That's crazy. Mm, Mount Shasta, huh? Let me see this. This is another one. This is from the typhoon. Poor Japan. It's a little. So he. It's, it's crazy, girl. <laughs> yeah. He drove. 
200 miles away and confess this is fun. killing four people <laughs> this is funny New Hampshire poll suggests Michelle Obama will enter race as front runner. Oh my goodness. She said, it says here, former, la former, former First Lady Michelle Obama repeatedly has stated there's zero chance she will run for president in 2020. But a new poll in New Hampshire, the state is holding the first primary in the race for the White House suggests that if Obama changes her mind, she would enter the race as the front runner. Damn. Why? Mm. Oh, man. Oh, I was like, oh. It's 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 a joke. It's just it's just a show. It's all a show. I sent you that one. Mm. No, I got the one about the the man that confessed to the four murders, and the one about the typhoon. Yeah, let me send you this other one. Oh Lord. It's like. It's like you you're stuck in like there's like double jeopardy or some shit. It's like you're gonna get fucked no matter what. The system is just rigged. Mm -hmm. Oh, back to the climate change. Mm. Let's see here. A man saw a list of his town's school lunch debt, so he ended up paying the entire bill. He just paid off the... The school lunch is uh, Jupiter, Florida. One man in Jupiter, Florida decides that he could make a difference in his town by paying off the lunch debt for every child in the system. It all started with a Facebook post. And, you know, and it's... It's very admirable. That's, that's, that's something that you could probably like be good for you like it's not always so bad you know sometimes you get some good news but it's not all the time you know he paid off school lunch for the whole entire year for 400 for 400 students that's that's wow awesome. yeah there has to be more people to step up you know mm-hmm there's not many people that do that. How much was it that they paid, guys? Although, let's see. It was $944.34. It's a pretty good story. It's like, you know, 400 kids in full. So... Yeah, they paid off the school. They're going to do stuff to help them out to get like a GoFundMe page or like a fundraiser page that they can raise money every quarter so lunch debt never accumulates so that children never have to worry about hot meals and parents never would will never have to worry about paying the bill he said, so he paid the, the school lunch for all the kids. So all the kids. And that goes to say why why are kids, why are parents forced to pay for their child to 
to eat. To eat. And just to eat, like, like the food is not all that. Mm. Like, Especially the only thing, the only they're thing forced to pay like, without having any control about what their child's consuming. The, is, yeah, another point. It's just... I remember when I had school lunch, the only thing I really liked was the, like, the boat pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or the French bread pizza? Yeah, like the French bread pizza. Oh, those yeah. are those, those are really, really good. I don't know. The thing that stuck out to me in, like, in high school is they, they would do uh, fresh salads every day. It was really, uh, that's one thing that I enjoyed. Mm. Uh, our food wasn't so bad, but then again, we had an actual, like, chef that was hired, I think my sophomore year, and he basically did all the food and, you know, oversaw all that so the quality of food wasn't so bad. Uh oh California California <laughs> Y'all just got hit by an earthquake. Uh Concord um around uh it was more towards the mountain terrain. It was it's it's a, a lot farther east of San Francisco. If San Francisco did did felt it, um, Berk, or Berkeley Berkeley area, um, Concord is the area where the 4.5 earthquake rattles San Francisco Bay Area. 4.5, and we just had. I'm telling you, this energy is strong. <laughs> this just happened. So this happened tonight or last night at seven thirty-three p.m. So pretty much after dinner time, and we—I feel, feel vibration all the time in this building. I just feel the vibration right now, like it felt like a little earthquake. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like the whole building, I just felt the whole building rattle for a second. You know, I always said this earth is it's just rocks put together. That's why people are from different places, different, like, everyone's different. Because it's like it's all energy. All these rocks came together and they're all energy from different places. And that's why there's so many different languages and different people and they look different. <laughs> look different, talk different. Like the place I went to eat and stuff um i don't know what country they were from but it was it was not from here um but i was curious to know i'm gonna ask him like what's their background and you know just know where they're from that's all um but um the food was you know pretty good the sandwich was good sandwich was amazing actually that was a boar's head sandwich. I love boar's head. Yeah, I had Very good um, brand. I had the uncured, uh, the the cured um, ham, and then I had um, chicken, and then I made it into a a sandwich like a roll. It was twelve inch. It was a big size. It took me, you know, two times, um, <laughs> two times, but um. It took me, yeah, about it took it took I ate half a sandwich and then I saved the other sandwich for later, and then I ate it. And I took my medicine and stuff, and I still ended up in pain and still not able to sleep. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress because of this fucking doctor, and I just gotta like plead my case. It's like. Seen the fucking judge. <laughs> She's like, 
Yeah, I convince her. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Is this a game show or something? Like, where's the cameras? Like, this is fucked up. Like, she doesn't know anything about me. But it is what it is, right? Oh, it's fucked up. But yeah, San Francisco, you guys got rattled. So it's a little bit bumpy tonight. It's not because, you know, it's it was lunch. It was during, like, dinner time. After dinner, because 1033, I mean, people should already have eight in dinner. But it could be, you know, late dinner, you know, vibration. More victims, more damage found in Japan, typhoon aftermath. It really did a number on them. Yeah. They're saying 33 dead, 19 missing, over 100 injured after typhoon rips through Japan. Death to rises to 35. Wow. Now it's 50. Hold on. There's a lot, a lot of numbers. Hold on here. Because they're saying now it's like. They're saying 56. Like, there's, there's, these numbers are going up. Death toll now from the typhoon, you know, Hag- Hagabus is called. Hagabus. The number's at uh, 56. That that number's going to go up. The flooding, that waters, the way they came in, that was, a, that was an attack. I'm telling you, the weather wars, that shit's happening for real. Mm. People, they're so, like, like, out of touch that I can feel the energy. And it's weather wars that's coming from Japan. Not like the weather is going hitting Japan and stuff like that. It's coming from China. It's coming from Russia. They're manipulating the ionosphere. They're messing with it. And they're messing with it from above and below. You know. They're causing a lot of issues. But it was a strong storm. It was a really strong storm. That, and I think the flooding was horrible. The police and military troops were called up, standing and ready for rescue operations. Oh, Lord. 17,000 people, well, police and military troops. Um, Let's see, it says here, the Rugby World Cup matches, concerts, and other Events and the typhoon's path were canceled while flights were grounded and train services halted. Authorities acted quickly with warnings issued early in the week, including urging people to stay indoors. Some 17,000 police and military troops were called up, standing ready for the rescue operations. We got residents trapped up in their apartments, windows to prevent them from shattering. T- T- TV talk shows show footage of household items like a, was it a slipper bushing through the windows when they could hurl, they were hurled by winds. Like everything was like, was bad. That was a bad storm for them. And the evacuation center were set up in the coastal towns. 
gymnasium floor saying that they were hoping that their homes were still there after the storm passed. So the rugby competition, I guess, is on hold. Let's see. The airlines is grounded. The last typhoon, the last typhoon that hit the Tokyo region in 1958 left more than two, no, actually 1,200 people dead and half a million houses flooded. Hmm. 1,200 people dead, that was in 1958. And this storm was stronger than, than this storm. Uh, and it was a full moon too and there was an earthquake during that storm and during the full moon they had an earthquake that rocked the area it was like 4 point something it was like 4.8 4.5 or somewhere in the forest I think it was like maybe a 5 some areas they they got an earthquake and then they thought that was the, the storm of the winds that was moving the buildings and it wasn't. It, they were having an earthquake. They had an earthquake. It was like the perfect match. Everything just, the energy all together in one area. That's a lot. I wonder, I wonder who, who really did it. Because they're, they're allies to the U.S. So it would make sense that China manipulates you know, the radars or, you know, the signals in the ionosphere, you know, because they do have HARP. Like, it's no, it's no secret. Russia and China has HARP. They have their version of HARP. You can go look it up. They have their <laughs> own versions. And they, they are messing with the ionosphere. They are messing with the weather. They're, they're doing things. You know, it doesn't mean that the U.S. is not doing things right back. But, you know, that's what's called weather wars. It's, it's, it's kind of like the like it's all like, uh, wait till they have the Space Force up in space. They already have them up there. But, you know, they have to announce it like Space Force. It's a joke. And by the way, Mars always had life on it, and it still had life. They just don't want to tell people that because they want to keep people dumb, like not believing that they have a chance to go somewhere else or that. Like no, this is a prison planet. You're supposed to stay here. Nobody else is supposed to leave, and the people that leave, they're selected to leave this this planet. But they're still, you know, still part of the, the system. It's like this is a prison planet. It's like slaves, they just changed the words to work and job. That's what they call it, a set of slavery. And then they pay you a salary so that way they don't have to take care of you like back in the days. Like, no. They pay you the money and you take care of yourself and you budget yourself with the money we give you. But you have to work your ass off during the week. But what the fuck? It's like it's all it's all the systems off like it's uh, just waiting for the reset. Where's the reset button? It's like reset. Psh. Everything goes away. Come back again. <laughs> Get reincarnated. Come back. At a later time. See where the planet is. At that that future time. I believe we do come back. 
but it's just like it's like it's just it's 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 there's no explanation to it because people don't really know because they don't know if they come back or not there's no proof yet you know there's yeah, definitive proof. yeah like there's people that remember their past and what they were mm-hmm. stuff like that but it's like it's just like word of mouth you know and they have they they do the polygraph tests and stuff and then the passing and shit and you know, there's there's people like that. There they are. They're, they they know they've been here before, and they know like this one person. I think it was in Chicago that she said that she had died. It was a girl too. It was just like that. She she was this lady that lived in Chicago that died of some 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 shit. She had died, um, and she said everything and they went to investigate like they like, look into it and it's the truth everything that the girl said um happened that that was nuts but yeah who knows you know we're here as witnesses witness to something happening and we don't know what's happening like things happen and it's like the system is all the system I'm telling you it's like slavery I keep saying it because I feel it I feel like it's slavery and when you're trying to get your disability and shit that's it's like slavery too it's like it's, it's not the easiest thing you know, it'll come through to me. It's just I have to go through the hoops and hurdles. Yeah. I got my doctors already signed off on my, you know, that it's going to be hard for me to do anything, like, physical, like, messed up, like, having to worry about things and stuff. That's a little too much for me. So I decided maybe I could bring my show back and then that'll be my own my own business. <laughs> be sharing my business with everyone. Mm-hmm. Come in and you now it's just uh I can't do anything besides what I do here on this show. Well, I'm getting tired now because I think the medicine's kicking in, but look at the time. Yeah. Or something in the morning, and now the medicine's kicking in. That's bullshit. And it's not even the pain medicine. It's the sleep medicine. Because I take amitriptyline to sleep at night. I take 100 grams of it, too. That's a little up. And I think they wanted to raise it up. Because it's hard for me to sleep and my PTSD sucks and my dreams sometimes are way too real. Like, it's like, it's crazy. It's like, when I tell you that signal, I can hear it loud in my head. It's like, like really loud. And I know I'm going to have to get to sleep. I was trying to make it to 420, but... <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Six minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rest today. I'll wake up around two in the afternoon. <laughs> wow. I one, one o'clock. Maybe I'll wake up in the afternoon. Well, at least you're getting rest. Your body does need it. My body sleeps, man. Like, if I'm asleep, my body just sleeps. And it's trying to Mm re-energize. When I wake up, I wake up like like my phone didn't charge. Then it shows you 1%. And you, you thought you put your phone on the charger. 
Mm. Like it's fucked up. <laughs> no, I can I can relate. I've had nights like that. It's nuts. And then yeah. I, I'll upload this this video in the morning or in the afternoon. I'm not gonna do it now. Yeah. It takes time and I'm tired. If I had the energy and stuff, then I'd be like, all right, I'll do it. But um, trust me, I am, like, beat. I had tens unit on my body. Um, it was good on my back. Um, my neck, forget about it. My neck is, is so much pain in there. And so, like, there's, there's, you understand, I got hit over the head from ceiling collapse. So... You know, <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. Yeah. So it's like, there's this shit that I got to deal with. And I, it's, yeah, I'm in a lot of pain. And it's, I got to, I got to figure something out. I, I'm sure you will. Yeah. Because, uh I ain't going to make it to the 420. I'm, I'm going to sign off. So okay. Probably I'm, what I'm going to do is take my medicine. There's another medicine I got to take. And then probably eat a bowl of cereal and then go to sleep. Sounds <laughs> like a plan. Yeah. I always like to have a bowl of cereal before I go to sleep. I take my medicine. Mm -hmm. It activates faster. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming on and coming by. And we could do no problem, Rick. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Yeah. Talk about all the good stuff, current yeah. events, current events, and just talk about what's going on in the world. And you know, just everyone, just make sure you have a plan. That's all. You know, mm. have a plan, and it's just in case shit happens. You know, that's just it's one of those things. But all right, Jessica, I'm about to go. Bro. All right, you take it easy, Rick. Right. Talk to you soon. All right, have a good night. You too. All right, Mike. Bye. Bye. Oh man, and that's my mind over your matter. I'm tired. I know I'm like two minutes till 4.20 in the morning. But um, maybe I'll spend that one minute because it's not 4.19. But um, thank everyone for watching. Um, it's kind of my journey, you know, with what I go through on a daily basis. I not only do what I do, you know, with my psychic abilities, but this is my life. I'm kind of documenting and you know having open talk talking about certain things that are going on and you know and just inform everyone you know somewhat and uh, what's really important to be looking at and to kind of like focus your energy on because there's a lot of distractions going on and it's constantly happening like the signal in my head is it's so high it's not even funny and you know I want to come back live soon and that's going to happen very soon. And uh, we're going to bring back, you know, cool people and talk to cool people and have open talk live, you know, hopefully that's coming real soon. That could hit 420. I'm out. It's been a pleasure. It's my mind over your matter. My name is Rick and you guys have a good day. Bye for now.